Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vaseem here from Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another fragrance video. So today's going to be uh, not a review, it's going to be a discussion video. Uh, I just wanted to touch upon the subject of sponsored fragrance reviews and why I don't enjoy them. So I'm just going to start off by saying these are my thoughts as a viewer of fragrance content rather than a fragrance reviewer calling out other fragrance reviewers. So these are my opinions as a as a fan of watching fragrance reviews uh, so it's a discussion uh, and just purely my opinion which you can definitely disagree with uh, so leave your opinions in the discussion section below let's have a discussion of this subject uh, and let's keep the discussion civil we're all adults so yeah let's discuss this like adults so yeah uh, sponsor fragrance reviews uh, in the past couple of years i think about two three years uh, we've seen a number of fragrance reviewers becoming sponsored by fragrance companies like Fragrance X uh, and whatnot. Uh, so, and some uh, fragrance reviewers are being sent free bottles to review. Uh, a lot of the time, these guys have uh, a specific uh, contract or something in place or an agreement, sorry, in place where they've sent X amount of bottles a month and they have to review and post their review. Uh, in that month so I've heard some guys are sent four bottles free a month and they have to post out their reviews of those four bottles in that one month uh, and for me there's a few issues about the sponsor fragrance reviews which uh, which I disagree with and which for me I find sponsor fragrance reviews not to be appealing so one of the reasons I find sponsor fragrance reviews uh, not appealing and quite annoying is the fact that sometimes um, I find in my subscription box about 20 uh, fragrance reviewers have posted the same fragrance review of the same fragrance in that day. Uh, again, it's an agreement. These guys have been sent free bottles and they have to post out their review on that one day. Uh, and I just find it so annoying because when I come back from work and I want to watch some fragrance content on YouTube, I just don't want to see the same fragrance review uh, of the same fragrance by 20 different guys and women. Uh, and a, a lot of the time, these guys have been sent the fragrance and they have to review in such a short amount of time. Uh, I love watching fragrance reviews where someone's actually given their own uh, subjective opinion of a scent uh, that they've owned in their collection for a number of years. I started watching fragrance reviews on YouTube because it was just normal guys giving their opinions of fragrances that they've owned. It was honest, uh, there was passion there. Uh, but with these sponsored fragrance reviews, the reviews have become less subjective and more objective. Uh, and I, I don't I don't like that because I don't want to watch professional reviews. I want to watch uh, a subjective, honest opinion of the regular guy or woman out there giving an opinion of a fragrance that they have owned in their collection. They've actively gone out and bought. Uh, just the other day, I was watching a brilliant fragrance review by Tunes Reviews, uh, and it was a review of uh, Dolce & Gabbana Pour Arm. Uh, it was a video, a video four years ago. Uh, he's still a great reviewer right now. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do. Uh, so I was watching his review of uh, Dolce & Gabbana Pour Arm. It was a review posted four years ago. And you can just see the passion. Uh, it was such a great uh, detailed review of a scent. And it was obvious that it was a, a detailed and a passionate review because it was a fragrance that he owned in this collection for years. He owned the bottle, he spent his money, he's experienced the scent. And you just get the passion from reviews where the person is talking about a, a bottle from his own collection. And I just don't see that same passion. I don't see the same level of detail and the same level of content in fragrance uh, reviews which are sponsored. Um, a lot of the time, I feel like there's less passion there because they're being sent bottles of fragrances that they wouldn't actually go out and buy themselves or would be interested in in the first place. Uh, I can guarantee you 90% of the bottles uh, and free samples or whatnot that they're reviewing are of scents that just doesn't appeal to them in the first place and they actually are reviewing it only because they have an agreement in place. 
uh, and which is why I see less passion in the fragrance reviews. Uh, anyways, those are my thoughts uh, of why I don't like sponsored fragrance reviews. I just, I just find the content to be be a bit shit, really. In if I'm being totally honest, compared to uh, fragrance reviews of their own personal collection. Uh, a lot of these guys that are sponsored have massive uh, fragrance collections and the fragrances that have, they have actually gone out and bought so money is definitely not an issue so I just want to say guys uh, if you can afford the fragrance review stuff from your own personal collection that you've actually enjoyed and worn for a long amount of time and just forget about the sponsored fragrances because a lot of the time I just don't see the passion there I just don't see uh, the reviews are shit. I'm just saying, sponsor fragrance reviews are just shit. Because uh, I really feel like some of you guys have sold your soul. That's what. That's how I personally feel. Anyway, so let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with this or disagree? Uh, I just find that reviews uh, of fragrances that the person actually went out and bought uh, has a real passion for. Those reviews are way way better than some of these. Uh, very objective uh, free fragrances that they've been sent and they're reviewing them because they've got an agreement in place like I really love uh, back in the days watching fragrances that the guy you know he's tested it in numerous occasions in a number of seasons for a long amount of time uh, compared to these sponsor reviews where you can tell they've only tested it two or three times and they've posted out a review because they've got an agreement in place to post out x amount of reviews in an x amount of time so that's my thoughts guys let me know what your thoughts are regarding sponsored fragrance reviews this isn't calling out other fragrance reviewers this is me just giving my opinion on sponsored fragrance reviews and why i just dislike them and i just don't feel like there should be a place for them in our community so yeah thank you for watching the video if you've enjoyed it please do leave me a like and a comment below and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do. Until next time my friends, see you later.